Well, Canada is buzzing this week as it's the 40th anniversary coming up in a few days of the goal of the century. Paul Henderson scoring the final winning goal in the last minute of the game of the Canada-Russia Hockey Series 1972. Where were you? You probably remember. And uh, I think it's a great week to introduce a documentary that Crossroads has been instrumental in pulling together called The Goal of the Century. I'm joined now by the writer and uh, director of the documentary, Michael Wright. Mike. Hey, great to be here. <laughs> great to have you. Now, you've been around Crossroads here for, is it 26 years now? <laughs> and uh, just doing a fabulous job in different capacities. But, but th this is kind of a, a new avenue for you to, to get into the, the whole high quality documentary mm -hmm. production. And I uh, couldn't think of a, a better thing to be working on oh, yeah, <laughs> than, hockey. <laughs> than hockey for you. Now, uh, Mike, um, we're, we're going to let people know in a few moments when and where you can see it, uh, the documentary, as well as the actual replaying of the whole hockey game <laughs> coming up. But, uh, Mike, what was it like for you to, uh, to be part of this documentary and, and work with Paul Henderson? It must have been uh, quite something. It was. When I first found out that I was uh, picked to do a documentary on Paul Henderson, I was like, this is every hockey fan's dream. I mean... I remember back in 72, I'm actually old enough to remember, um, and that was my very first hockey memory. So to, mm. to be able to do a story on Paul was a dream come true. Okay, and where were you? Where were you? I was in grade three, <laughs> there, goes, there goes my age, um, in my public school. And I remember they, just like they'll mention in the documentary, they, they rolled in the TVs, the teacher said, we're not gonna do any schooling in the afternoon, we're gonna watch hockey. So um, I remember sitting there and literally seeing the goal unfold and I remember going crazy after and <laughs> celebrating and it's funny how those kinds of memories just stick with you. It pretty much mirrors my memory at, yeah. at, uh, in public school in the gymnasium and I've been getting emails from people since we've been talking about it recently on Huntley Street from people saying I, hey, this is my memory. There was even one lady she said I was just a housewife. I wasn't really into hockey but the game mm -hmm. was, was on. I was doing the housework and, and God told me to pray for th this particular player <laughs> and, and so she, she prayed for him and it was Paul Henderson and he ended up scoring the goal. <laughs> anyway, uh, lots of stories floating out there. It's good she prayed for her because I, he had a concussion in game five. Oh. And if we were probably today, he probably wouldn't have played those last yeah. three or four games. But um, no, it was, a, it was a fantastic story. I mean, I think one of the challenges I had was the story's been told a few times. Maybe not all of Paul's story in particular, but the game, the series itself has been told for 40 years. So how do you make that fresh? And right. so that was the challenge I had. And, um, and, and digging into Paul's life, the, the journey that he's on with cancer right now, and also, you know, the fact that um, uh, the, gr the great things that he's done since the goal. I mean, he's started a great ministry. So all of those things I really felt needed to be told a little bit more specifically. Yeah, and I, I love the way uh, you were able to, to weave the, the pre-story, the, the pre, the big goal story, and then the actual goal story itself and the excitement of that and the footage that you, you have on it. It's just, you know, tremendous and everyone will be, be reliving that moment. And then there's the post-goal story as right. well and, and really getting an understanding of the man. That's right. And, uh, and as you mentioned, he is... Uh, you know, dealing with, with cancer. A lot of people have been praying for Paul. Yeah. And I think we have a little clip that might have, uh, you know, covered some of that aspect. Yeah. And so let's, let's go to that clip. They did an ultrasound on my stomach and just to make sure everything was fine and found some growth. And so I uh, found out in November, I have 09, I have lymphocytic lymphoma, chronic leukemia. And so, man, it was like getting punched in the stomach. That, you know, cancer? How can I possibly have cancer? I, um, was totally taken off guard by him having cancer. But when I was really stunned is when, I guess it was our, about our second visit with the oncologist, and he said, well, you know, it's at stage four. It means multiple places. It's not like stage four of another tumor type of cancer that is very advanced. Through this difficult time, both Eleanor and Paul are leaning heavily on their faith in God. I know that God didn't give me cancer, but I know he's very aware that I have cancer. And I said, okay, Lord, if this is my lot, then I need your help. And I unashamedly pray for help every morning, but I have no fear of dying whatsoever. I know where I'm going and uh, man, I've lived 69 years, I'm 69. My dad died at 49, so I have no complaints about anything. Now, Mike, that particular aspect of Paul's story, his cancer journey, uh, is particularly uh, special to your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us why. 
Yeah, my wife went through the, not leukemia, but a similar battle with cancer um, about 10 years ago. And so I know what it's like for Eleanor, his wife, mm -hmm. to, to be the spouse and to see your, your uh, spouse going through treatments and, you know, given a very definitive sentence by the doctors. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, there was a bit of a bond there with Paul and I. We, you know, we talked a lot and, uh, you know, I talked with Eleanor a lot and uh, we had some good times of prayer. And right. yeah, it's, you know what? Everyone's touched by cancer. So uh, for me, it was, it was really personal and very upfront. So mm -hmm. I felt really privileged to tell that part of the story. One more question, Mike, and then we want to let people know where you can uh, watch it. Uh, what did you learn perhaps uh, about Paul the man that surprised you? Yeah, there was um, an evening. Like we, we obviously didn't just shoot an interview with him. We shot a lot of footage of Paul in various venues. We really wanted to get a kind of a, a wide aspect of who Paul Henderson is, and we interviewed a lot of people. But there was one evening where they, a bunch of his friends got together and they, they um, got a church and they invited all of his friends and all the people, all the, the lives that he's touched throughout the years mm -hmm. to this event. And it was a surprise event. So Paul, you know, I don't know how they got him out in, on a roost, but they eventually brought him in and everyone stood up and started clapping. And man after person after person after, you know, there was a bunch of people that spoke. And I just saw how many lives he's touched since the goal. It's not just about, you know, a goal that happened 40 years ago that mm -hmm. brought, this, brought him all this fame. It's all the different lives and the legacy that he's left, you know, in this time in his life. So I was just blown away by his impact on so many people. And you had cameras there that night? To, we did, to we did. So yeah. it's all in documentary. Yeah. Uh, there's a little clip there. And um, yeah, it was, it was a great tribute to a, mm. a wonderful Canadian, a hockey legend. Yeah. Well, the moment you've been waiting for, how can you watch it? Uh, here's the info for you. It is on uh, this Saturday night, 7 p.m., September the 29th. Uh, you can see the goal of the century, the Paul Henderson story on CTS. And uh, if you go to ctstv.com, you can find out uh, you know, how you can catch CTS, as far as if you're wondering in your area, if you even get it. But you could find out. Uh, make sure you watch that. And then we have another opportunity. And, and Mike, I'm really excited about this because this is, can be uh, like a memento for people to take home sure. with or give to someone else. It's the, uh, the Blu-ray or DVD edition of it that you can have and uh, have in your home and you'd want to watch that. Watch it with someone. Maybe invite someone over and, and watch it with them. It would be tremendous. Uh, and we're just asking you to give your best uh, ministry gift when you call or write or click and your support means so much. Ask for either the Blu-ray or the DVD of The Goal of the Century. 1-800-265-3100 is the number, or you can order it online and make your donation right there online, or make your check payable to Crossroads and write to Box 5100, Burlington, Ontario, L7R4M2. Thanks again, Mike. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. It's a great week, an exciting week in uh, Canadian hockey history. <laughs> Definitely. All right.